As the economy continues to rise and fall, scrap metal theft is a constant problem. News 10's Jacqueline Beavis talks with some local salvage yards fighting a battle with thieves. The business of buying and selling scrap metal is booming. A few years ago, copper's 80 cents. Today it's three dollars. Aluminum, 25 cents. It's 60. But according to some salvage yards, it's not always good business. The last theft that we had was aluminum wheels, a rescue saw, and a car. They actually stole a car. Bud's Auto Salvage often finds missing parts, so far this year adding up to almost $7,500. Very frustrating and infuriating because sometimes we know the people that are doing it and it's hard. And with so much inventory over such a large space, security is difficult. See, there's a high fence behind you. That they can't climb. But to do that around our whole salvage yard, which is a little over 14 acres, it's just, it would cost so much. But it's not just one business seeing the trouble. It's very hard for us to determine whether it's stolen or not when it comes here. They come in places like this and take batteries from right here, copper wiring like this, and even wheels. Then they bring it down the road right here and sell it back for cash. And I don't blame the buyers for that. If you brought something to me, I'm going to buy it. It's impossible to mark every piece. And over at Sugar Creek, it's nearly impossible to tell if something's stolen without those markings. But what's driving the trouble? People are, can't find a job, so they got to feed their families. The economy, drug users, um, people without homes, the homeless, but there's all kinds. Whatever the cause, the thefts have a big impact. When somebody steals something, it cuts directly into the profit margin. Leaving these local salvage yards hoping to get back to business as usual. In West Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. A police are investigating some of the recent thefts at Bud's Auto Salvage. They say they are taking some measures to improve security.